Hello friends, in this interesting video, I'll be speaking about a particular case of a trainee where a complication occurred. So this is the second half of the case. The trainee has uh, already divided the pieces, but not completely. And he's trying to take out the pieces for quadrant removal. And just look at the FACO tip. It's leaving the safe zone quite frequently. As you can notice, the trainee is having difficulty in taking out the pieces from the bag. And he is going into periphery with the FACO Pro. And FACO tip is leaving the safe zone. We are raising the red cards again and again. But fortunately, trainee hasn't caused any complication yet. Again, he rotates the nucleus and tries to emulsify further. He is able to take out one small piece up. Again, look at the FACO tip where it is reaching. Still, no complication. Now, he is trying to remove one half. You can see it is attached in the center. All the pieces are attached in the center. And that's why he is having the difficulty of taking out the pieces from the bag. Because they are getting stuck. They are attached to each other. So, Strainy doesn't have any free piece. So now he realizes it and tries to divide it further. And could release one of the pieces free of others and now he will attempt to emulsify this again watch out for the FACO tip reaches the danger zone goes outside the safety limit in all his previous attempts he didn't create any complication but now you can see he has punched through the posterior capsule but he misses this important observation and continues to do FACO emulsification still the tip is not in the safe zone well now you can see one piece which, are, which is much deeper than the posterior capsule so it has gone in the antivitreous again trainee doesn't spot that and continues to do FACO emulsification. You are seeing the fluctuations in the anterior chamber. As he emulsifies this piece which was kind of guarding this PC rent here, again look at the FACO tip. It's still going in the unsafe zone all the time and now it's very clear that posterior capsule is wide open now. You can see the wrinkles at the edge of the tear. And now trainee realizes that something is not going all right. And he withdraws the probe. Well, you must have thought that how it happened because of uh, you know, doing FACO in the unsafe zone. But this is the prologue of the case. Now watch all different steps where he went wrong. The tip is not buried and he is trying to chop because he is fond of chopping. He doesn't like train divide. And you can see the nucleus rotates over the FACO tip which indicates that the buried tip is not uh, effective. Now here look at this. He tries to divide but it, the division is not complete. Still he misses it and tries to chop another piece watch this he is pushing the nucleus away when the FACO tip is to be buried taking the support of zonules and posterior capsules this has to be absolutely avoided when you are doing chop because you are unnecessarily putting pressure on the zonules and may cause zonular dialysis He is trying to take out chop another piece. This is a better effort I would say. 
because he didn't try to push the nucleus away. Now look at this attempt. This is much better. He has buried the tip, slightly pulled the nucleus towards the tip and then divided. But again, not a complete division as you can see that the crack which he had created has not gone till the posterior plate. Again, so at the center all the nuclear pieces though are divided are not divided completely they are all stuck so this is where it all starts the stuck nucleus incomplete steps so if you skip the steps in the FACO it's similar to having a domino effect so a small missing step can lead to catastrophic complications thank you